Broadcasting live from the Glacial Fortress on the plain of Ixalan. This is Tap Tap Concede. I like that whenever they... It gets around those glacial... Yeah. Those, yeah. those buddy lands get around. There's, yeah. There's a dragon skull summit on every plane. Yeah. Is there yeah. just like... there? Yeah, even though there are apparently no... Are there dragons on Ixalan? Presumably there's got... To, there's like, has to, there, there had to have been one at least. There's one in the <laughs> set, right? There's a dragon in Ixalan. I don't remember what it is. There's a dragon in every set. Is there a dragon in Ixalan? Or is it just dinosaurs? I think they figured they could probably get away with dinosaurs. What? I actually don't know. Uh, hey, Graham here. Cameron's here too, and James Yo. is also here. Oh, right. Yes. Uh, I just got distracted by. There's got to be a dragon Look, in Ixalan. They're, they're Paul, can you please do some research? Biome. And please find out if we have a dragon in the <laughs> while, while Paul's looking up dragons, I wanted to uh, remind you that uh, the show is brought to you by you and your kind support of our Patreon at patreon.com slash loadingreadyrun. And also by Card Kingdom. If you check out cardkingdom.com slash LRR for all your card kingdomly needs, they'll ship uh, se sealed product anywhere in the U.S., singles anywhere in the world. With very, very fast shipping, and if you tell them, loading ready, run, send me a button, please. They'll give you a little button that we make and send to them, and the current button says, strictly medium, but it's a very nice button. Well, it's fine. It's, you know, it's it a does strictly, the job. It's a strictly medium yeah. button. Yeah. It's a fine 2030. <laughs> yeah. I literally can't think of a dragon in this in this set. Mm -hmm. they, they wedge a dragon into every set, and yeah. it's just, because it's, because it's the realms of magic, it's just like, oh, okay. Like, it, it never seems out of place. No. Like, yeah. even on Innistrad, it was like the... The like yeah the the, the moon the moon something. moon veil dragon moon yeah. veil dragon right yeah. and it was like oh it's like some sort of like mythical like sh okay sure but I I I really don't remember do you need dragons in a realm of dinosaurs I mean maybe, maybe they were just like you know what I think this time we can uh, I think this covers we, it. we can blank it yeah I feel like I don't you don't see one I feel like people there should be a revolt <laughs> I feel like the Reddit should just be filled with nothing but where are the dragons. Are there, is there an angel in Ixalan? Wow. Are we breaking streaks left and right over here? Like, the, I thought the grid had to be obeyed. <laughs> uh, this is the problem with having these kind of conversations earlier on the set, <laughs> when you still haven't quite gotten enough reps in and really paid attention to the cards enough to remember all the big fancy cards. There does not appear to be a dragon. Oh, all right. Oh, no wow. dragon. Hmm. No dragon, maybe no angel, who knows? Wow. All right, let's... Let me just crack this whole thing wide open. Yeah. Speaking of which, today we're doing a crack and pack fest because this box... For listeners, uh, you can't see it. Uh, dub double column box. Double column long box. Full. It's just, it's and just full of packs. There are still full. about a half a dozen more packs over there. This little box at the end of the thing here, this is just full of full packs. Other packs. So there's probably <sighs> like 80 packs in here. Yeah. Because it's probably like 20, 40. Yeah, there's, we probably have about 80 packs mm -hmm. of cards. So, so we're going we're gonna to open three of them, four of them? Yeah. You know, put a real dent in them. Yeah. yeah. Just, you know, just really get it to it. Should we start with this? or Sure. Yeah, let's yeah. start right. with it. I, I just want to open this. We're going to roll the dice, but I, I want to start with this one. Because this is a pack of uh, Magic Die Zusammenkunft. <laughs> it contains eight Spielkarten. This is a this is a pack of uh, Renaissance. Now Renaissance is uh, Chronicles, but for Europe. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's literally it uh, it was released in um, different European languages. Is it the same cards? Um, I actually don't know if it's the same cards. It is cards from Antiquities, Arabian Nights, Legends, and the Dark. But I don't know if it's literally the same cards as Chronicles. It could be. Let's but find it was out. called Renaissance. Yeah. This one happens to be German. I believe it was released in other languages. Uh, and this, I'm sorry, it says on top of that box. Can you, the little uh, cardboard, it says on the very top of it. Um, oh, Young Frey. Yes, Young Frey. Eric. Great. Pack West. Pax yes. West. Uh, Eric brought um, <coughs> a variety of uh, very, very spicy boosters to our Pax West booth. So. Um, is the other pack of this we have? Because we have another pack of this, right? Mm -hmm. Is it yeah. also German? I believe so, but it's blue for some reason, and this one's burgundy. Interesting. I don't know why. All right. I guess it's just that was the different printings. Yeah. So. Or, like, weird. This pack of Ixalan has Frask on it, and this one has... Ooh, a Spontensalber. Uh, this is Inferno, but I don't know what that is in English. Um, so this is going to be really interesting that we start with this. Uh, let me just... One 
Uh, put it down again. Oh yeah, here we go. So we have to let the card reader do the heavy lifting for us mm. because I don't know what this card. Well, hang on, let's see. Das Inferno, Foot Islands, Burn, and Creature. Player six damage. Okay, five red, red. We know that. Yeah. For a sorcery, I'm going to say. Oh, there we go. I guess oh, I was going. I, I was in the dark. I, I was going to say instant because spontan. Oh, spontan. Spontaneity. Right, yeah, spontaneity. Yeah. 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 So okay, it's actually just called Inferno. Yeah. Seven mana instant. Inferno does six damage to all players and all creatures. I was going to say we got Spearlin and Kraturin. That all seems that. sweet. Yeah. Six damage to everything. Yeah. yeah. All right. This is a, pro, it's a great way to tie a game. <laughs> um, <laughs> F- Felwarstein. Hey, the Felwarstein. Hey. No, Felwarstein. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Inferno is not in Chronicles. Oh, interesting. Oh. Okay, so Renaissance did have a different, did have its own printing. And All these right. were black bordered. And that the, was the other thing. The thing I'm looking at here yes, does black-bordered. not have Renaissance as a even as a, like a set. So this should be interesting. That doesn't <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. But no, like these have uh, the what. Fourth ed borders on on the screen. You're seeing the bottom where it says like illustrated copyright 1994 Quentin Hoover. Mm-hmm. This one has illustrated Quentin Hoover and a separate line of text for the copyright. Yeah. So this is and the, with 1995. Yeah. So this is the fourth edition, yeah. not the unlimited. But these uh, the distinction is that these were never printed in these languages at Black Border in their original sets. Right. So they were only printed in these languages uh, in Black Border uh, for Renaissance. Right. Felt War Stone, by the way, is a two-mana artifact that you tap to add one mana, one colorless mana to your mana pool. Oh, no. It, sorry. Yeah, any color, add, yeah. Sorry. It's because the, the ability is in, in a weird order. Add one mana to your mana pool. Uh, this mana may be of any color that an opponent's lands could produce. Play this ability as an interrupt. Uh, next is, oh, it's Amaru Kithkin. Um, white, white for a 1-1. One, one. Beshwarong von Kithkin. Uh, creatures with power greater than 2 may not be assigned to block Kithkin. Uh, blocker's power may be increased after blocking has been assigned. But that's such a weird way of doing that. Do you have the, hey, Paul, do you have the oracle text for this one handy? Uh, Kithkin? Uh, Am, Amru Kithkin. I'm curious if um, if it, if it is actually if that it, if that is actually all Kithkin creatures because on the card it says creatures with power greater than two may not be assigned to block Kithkin, which when this was made was not like a relevant subtype. Yeah, Amber Kithkin can okay. be blocked by power. So the oracle text does indeed mean just this card. Yeah, because other like God, yeah, that buffed your entire team. Yeah. Yeah, this is the crack. this is this is the master's edition. Okay, the master's edition reads: Amaru Kithkin can't be blocked by creatures with power three or greater. Uh, yeah, yeah it's, crack. it's weird. N- none of the card data wide open. Yeah, none of the card databases I have has uh, Renaissance in it. <laughs> wow, I didn't realize I was throwing you quite such a curveball. Um, oh, good. Ooh, Ooh Merc dwellers. dwellers yeah. Merc dwellers. All right, three and a black for a two-two. Merc dwellers, or. Dunklin Wizen. Uh, when when attacking, Merc, Merc Dwellers gets plus two plus zero oh if not blocked. It's not, it's not terrible. Yeah. It's pretty bad. Yes, I'm it's a four mana two two. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's yeah. Uh, Sandstorm, or in its original German, Sandstorm. <laughs> uh, single green mana. It deals uh, instant. Deals one damage. <laughs> wow. Yeah. He is dabbing. Is this Magic's first dab? Wow. Um, all attacking creatures suffer one damage. Dabbing's still cool, that's, right? No. That's a utilitarian dab, though. He's yeah. Just, he's yeah. protecting his face. Yeah. I mean, like the presence of mind on this guy, though, getting annihilated by a sandstorm yet dabbing. <laughs> wow. The the way that this card is formatted. Kanflagen. It. There's nothing else in the yeah. in the text it's a box. Yeah. Bird, on this one. bird maiden. Uh, two and a red for a one-two, uh, one-two bird maiden uh, with flying. On the original printing uh, of Arabian Nights, it has a whole bunch of um, flavor text from the Arabian Nights, and on this card, it just it just says can fliegen, or I mean, it just says flying, but it's like floating left justified in the middle of the text box. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. so weird. Very strange. Uh, All right, uh-huh. next up, erosion. Ooh. Blue, blue, blue. Okay. For Enchant Land, 
Target land is destroyed unless its controller pays one mana or one life during his or her upkeep. Effects that prevent or redirect damage may not be used to counter this loss of life. Interesting. So, like... That's... Hmm. That's not very good. No. No, none of these cards have actually been very good. No. Triple blue. For what? Triple blue, yeah, no. And wall spears. Spear mower. Three mana artifact creature for a 2-3 with first strike. Yeah. And counts as a wall. This is literally the first pick for me. If this was some weird draft, I would probably take the Wall of Spears. Maybe the Inferno, but that's really, really, really highly costed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But all the other cards are kind of meh. Yeah. This is just a 2-3 first strike. It has Defender, but whatever. It's a good blocker. It's, yeah. uh, it's not a great pack. Sandstorm makes an interesting... Sandstorm, I guess, yeah. Take the Inferno. Uh, I was going to say take the Inferno and hope to wheel the Felwar Stones so you can ramp into the Inferno, but there's only eight cards you in the pack, yeah, so you, you, you actually just never see you, you, the pack. You don't again. wheel again. <laughs> there's no wheeling in this draft format. <laughs> this is not a draft format. <laughs> we should get... I guess we need double the amount of packs as a normal eight-player draft to do this. Yeah. yeah. And then you would still have one extra card. Seems reasonable. Uh, let's roll the dice. The Nason's draft sounds miserable. Yeah, roll it up. Which way are you going to pick from? Uh, uh, so I start here uh -huh. and then going up, and then as as things have been coming out, it's just it's just been shifting down. Yeah, okay. This is this is number one. All right, here we go. <laughs> I rolled a one. How did, how did you do that? I rolled a one. Wow. The best part. Why did you? Do you that? know what's really unfortunate? I rolled a one, and you know who contributed this pack of magic cards? Who? Me. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> I found these. At, this is a this is a dollar store repack. Yeah. Um, that I found while I was shopping for. God, I don't even remember. Um, it, I was shopping for uh, decorations for a loading ready live segment last sometime very early this year, um, and I saw these, and I was like, Yeah, okay, I'm gonna buy one of these. Yeah. And put it in the cracker pack box. We got a fun thing coming up on stream in a similar vein. That yes. We'll tell you about later. Yeah. Oh, um, there's no good way to open this. Okay, sorry, I'm just reading about Renaissance. Please okay. do, I'm gonna have to fight with this for a second. Okay, so for one thing, there's a German, a French, and an Italian version. Okay. That's what okay. I thought. Okay. The German and French version are the same, the Italian version is different. Okay. Why? The German and French version uh, are black border, and they contain all 122 cards that rotated into fourth edition from expansions and sets that were not previously printed in those languages. So, th this was just prior to 4th edition coming out. Right. They, anything that was going to be in 4th edition but hadn't previously been printed uh, in those languages is Renaissance. Oh, okay. Uh, the idea behind this release is that there was a company policy that stated that a card could not be put into a white border set without first appearing in a black border set in that language. Right. Interesting. Hmm. Right, I remember that weird, That's a weird, weird uh, policy the, that, they, that they have since abandoned. The Italian version, well, because I mean, now they don't do white borders. Yeah, yet, they so. just don't do white borders. The yet. Italian version uh, only contains 60 cards. <laughs> okay. Uh, all of which were taken from Arabian Nights, Antiquities, and Unlimited. Uh, because <coughs> Legends in the Dark were already printed in Italian. Hmm. All the cards from those sets uh, included... the. All the cards in those sets are the same as in the French and uh, German versions, except for Piety, plus more cards from Arabian Nights and Antiquities. So, basically, the whole set was just a workaround. Weird. So, it just, like, it was one of those, the, like, it just had to technically exist. Nobody had to actually, like, have it or use it. Right. Huh. Huh. Okay. All right, then. It I was thinking, like, I was briefly entertaining the idea of, like, trying to track down the packs and, like, doing that draft because it would be so, so stupid yeah. and weird. But we don't read those languages. No, it would actually, that would actually it, be no. awful. Yeah, it would be well, terrible. And also, looking at, the, like, I, I'm pretty, like, the cards in the set are not at no all supposed to be together. Well, it was never, no, yeah, it's I mean, like, this was before draft really was a thing. But even if draft was a thing, like they're not even, like they weren't supposed to be even a coherent, it was just basically the leftovers. Yeah. yeah. They all stuck together and just did yeah. it. 
it would be like having a draft I mean, made of the draft chaff from another draft. I think it could be kind of interesting <laughs> to do an AF, uh, do a Lur MTG where we are playing with foreign uh, language cards, and you just have to play them based on whatever knowledge that you can gain from looking at the, the card. <laughs> And then you, if you play it, you play it. Like you're Just, like, I will you play. You and your opponent have to agree on it. Yeah, no, 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 no. It does what the card has to do. Okay. Um, although I do like that idea. Also, it still does what it does. It's just like. I attack. Okay, I'm going to cast this red spell that I hope deals damage to it. Oh, Place then, it down on the card recognizer. And then Paul comes in. And like, <laughs> it's like, well, actually, actually, does, no, yeah. that's not what that does. It's just like, damn it. All right. Well, it's like a version of uh, the like judge's tower. Yeah, yeah. kind of. It's I like, do like the idea of uh, um, magic. Entirely on pictures, mana cost, and like getting rid of all the text in the box. And you have to sell your opponent on what this card does. Okay, go with me on this journey. Yeah. You lose. Yeah, yeah, this card actually says Cameron Louder loses. Well, I mean, I believe it. Yeah, it's like, all right. Yeah. All right, well, this I, is going to be. played against that card quite frequently, actually. Yeah. This is going to be another really difficult pack for Paul. This is going to be a dragon drop. The place. Yeah, this is not going to be a card recognizer pack. What is this? This is the repack this is from, from the dollar, dollar this store. Is dollar store repack. You're not going to be able to. I don't think the card recognizer is going to work on this one. Okay. All right. But they're in. in, in they are English. Yes. So, we so maze glider. Hey, oh, I remember this guy. Yeah. Five and a blue for yeah. a three-five elemental with flying. Multicolored creatures you control have flying. Yeah. I remember this being okay. Like, you slam it. Yeah, and six, honestly. And, like, <coughs> there are so many gold cards in this that sometimes your entire board just gets flying and yeah, you kill yeah. your opponent. The, Absolutely. The, the, the maze elemental cycle was okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were fine and common. Didn't the green one give them all trample? I want to say something like that, yeah. yeah. Did, Jim, did your mic fall off or something? Oh, your mic escaped again. Uh, it's, where, it's just you're very mean, quiet. Oh. <laughs> Cam's mic just... It lost the cliff. Ejected itself. I mean, I don't blame it. So <laughs> uh, next one. Um, God's Willing from uh, Theros. From Theros. Very good from Theros. Yeah. Single white mana, instant. Target creature you control gains protection from the color of your choice until end of turn. And scry, and scry one. Yeah, Ooh. no, this card was super legit. That was bonkers in the heroic deck. Yeah. You just save your creature. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and you get to scry and you trigger heroic and everything's great. Yeah. Hey, they reprinted it. Yeah. In um, Conspiracy? Cons yeah, Conspiracy, conspiracy 2, I think. Conspiracy 2, yeah. 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 Uh, Griptide. Three, Another Theros card. Yeah, <laughs> three and a blue for an instant. Put target creature on top of its owner's library. This now gets you a... Tr uh, to um, doesn't this get you a uh, treasure token now in Ixalan? No, no, in Ixalan it's, it's functionally reprinted as run aground. I don't right, actually, right, right. I, I wonder why they changed know, the name. Yeah. Griptide seems like it would be Griptide a... Griptide works in flavor for... Yeah. It's also just yeah, a great uh, artifact or creature. Artifact oh, or creature. Oh, that's why. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Right, because she's literally doing it to a to a boat. So it's better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It yeah. Is actually okay. Strictly better. better. Oh. All right then. Well, Griptide, old and busted. Get out of here, Griptide. Yep. Where do we go next? Armored Cancrix. <laughs> that's magic. Not a thing. Magic 2014. Uh, so that yeah. is. Yeah. Four and a blue for a two five crab. No. What a terrible, boring card. I mean, it blocks well, but ugh. Speaking of things that appeared in Ixalan in better forms, this is a merfolk in Ixalan for four. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, the flavor text on this, I do like, though. The, again, this is M14. This is some years ago. Creatures displaced from time still turn up every year, stranded by the temporal disaster that once swept across Dominaria. So where is this crab beast from? What's what happened to Dominaria, and what's it going to be like when we go back? We get to go yeah, back. I mean, we know area. we know a bit of what happened to Dominaria in terms of yeah, there was terrible the, stuff. The time spiral. Mm -hmm. Also, I just Cancrix is not a thing. No. The I mean, only the only usage of Cancrix in Google is this card. <laughs> I believe it. All right. Uh, enduring victory from Khan's block four and a white. Instant. Destroy target attacking or blocking creature. Bolster one. Mm. Um, yeah. Could be a two for one. Generally just kill the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, kind of expensive for this yeah. type of effect. Um, mm -hmm. Normally you pay in white a little bit less. Yeah, even in that yeah. format it was still like, uh, I guess I'll run the it, I mean, it's still, hard, it's still hard to remove. I mean, hard removal. You still need to be target attacking or blocking, but the bolster one, I would rather just... just 
card get rid of the bolster one and cost like three and a white or two and a white. So yeah. what, the, <laughs> what the from downtown <laughs> uh, hurricane. Wow. From, from Ice Age. Wow. We I, I just was expecting mostly more, like more recent blue white. Like yeah. it's all been blue white <laughs> yeah. so far. All been blue white, all been within the last like four years. X and a green for a sorcery deals X damage to each each creature with flying and each player. For some odd reason. Huh. It's actually that was, the Ice Age version? Yeah, that's yeah. the version. Wow, the flavor text. That was quite possibly the least pleasant occurrence on the entire expedition. <laughs> Deesa the Restless, noted uh, 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 noted underseller. Uh, all right, next. Uh, breaching Hippocamp. Oh, thank God, we went back. Okay. Yeah, okay, I was good. getting worried for a second. Green and blue for a 3-2 horse fish uh, with flash, but not flying. Mm. It's just jumping. And when Breaching Hippocamp enters the battlefield, untap. Another target creature you control. This card was good. Mm -hmm. I just, again, you you mentioned it right yeah. there. I hated this card because everybody thinks it has flying. Yeah. Yeah. Me, myself included. Like, 100% thought this card flew every time. But, See also no. the Jace Illusion tokens. Love you, Noah. Yes. <laughs> I think those fly. I was We were in draft online the other day, and I was like, well, I can't block those. And chat's like, why not? I'm like, well, they fly. And chat's like, they don't. No. They don't fly. They don't fly. Right. Jace could make anything he wants with his mind, but he couldn't make a flying creature. Yeah. Ooh, Prey Upon. Prey Upon. Mm, nice. Um, this one's from Shadows, or Eldritch Moon. Yeah. Um, not that it matters, but it's a, yeah, single remana sorcery. Target creature you control fights target creature you don't control. Ta -da. So we are now several cards into this pack. We mm -hmm. have yet to open a red or a black card, mm -hmm. and we've only opened one card that has been passed the last, like, three or four years. <gasps> what do we got? I got a red card, but Yay! it d doesn't Ooh. change any of the other things. Uh. Race Course Fury. Quick, what's Race Course Fury do? Did you know there was a card called Race I Course mean, Fury? I recall a card being called that. I, recall, I did not. I recall no. not having a... Isn't it an enchantment? Yeah. Then I don't know. Single red mana, enchant land. Oh, God, yes. Enchanted yes. land has tap, target creature gains haste until end of turn. Does this pack still have... Does this repack have the same makeup? Is it commons and then three uncommons and a rare? Uh, there is... there. You know what? There's a rare. Okay. I'm going to move it to the... I'm, I'm excited. to the back. I'm excited. I'm build up to it. Yeah. Next. Perish the thought. Uh, mm. Two and a black oh, for hey. a sorcery from Rise, Rise of Eldrazi. Yeah. Target opponent reveals his or her hand. You choose a card from it. That player shuffles that card into their library. Also really disturbing art, so that's mm -hmm. good. Yeah, I mean, this is a card. Mm -hmm. uh, fairy Invaders. Uh, I actually... I like these guys. Yeah, yeah. this is um, functionally reprinted in in Ixalan as a merfolk. Yep. 3-3 uh, yep. three, three for four and a blue, flash and flying. Mm -hmm. And I think there was another one even more recently than that that was the different. Uh, well, these these guys turn up everywhere. Like yeah, a three three flash flying, flying is usually like five, yeah. an on an, an an on tribe common in mm. blue What's because it gives you something to do if you don't cancel. Mm. The, the, the first time I, I I was just searching this in the in the database and the first time I, I typed it as fairy invaders as in like a bunch of guys who arrive on a ferry <laughs> to, to fight you. <laughs> There's so many of us, we brought cars and everything. <laughs> what set symbol is that? That The one that you've brought that up? That is... Dual deck speed versus cunning. Ah, yeah. oh, interesting. Cool. Uh, hey, inventor's goggles. Hey, an artifact. Ooh. Single mana for an artifact equipment. Equipped creature gets plus one, plus two. When an artificer enters the battlefield under your control, you may attach inventor's goggles to it. Or equip for two. Was this good? No, it was actually okay. Yeah, yeah. It was fine. It was... In the red deck, generally a deck running red or blue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel okay. like... I, I remember in the in the uh, Kaladesh... Or is this Aether Revolt? That, that is Kaladesh. 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 I remember in the Kaladesh pre-pre-release, was it you, Cam, that, yeah. that had, that yeah, had, yeah, that they had did an Avenger deck that yeah. did, did it better work on? Um, these are nice because it's not when they enter the battlefield like it is with the new Pirates Cutlass. Mm. Yeah, uh, it's when an Artificer enters, so you so can any new one you just get to. Yeah, so you could yeah. you could attack in and then play a is new it, Artificer to block. Is the Cutlass the same plus plus? No, uh, no, it's plus, plus two, two plus, plus one. one. Right, yeah. it's flipped. Yeah. All right, Triton Shore Stalker. Okay, uh, it's a one one for a single blue that can't be blocked. Or so it's, rogue. it's um, the same as uh, Stalker, right? Mm -hmm. Invisible Stalker? 
Well, invisible. Invi invisible. Invisible Stalker was a human, which was super relevant to yes. that format, yeah. and, and had hexproof. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it had hexproof, which, made right. which made it which made it possible to deal that with. That card was dumb. Also, yeah, it was one dumb. Of God. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of chronicles. Wait, what? Emerald Dragonfly. <laughs> Just hey, more Quentin Hoover art. One, one, in a, one in a green for a 1-1 one, one flyer uh, that for green, green gains first strike until end of turn. That's the one we got. That color pie masterpiece. What is going on? Why is there... This is such a weird repack. Yeah. They're all weird. Yeah. And the rare is <laughs> Biden of Thassa. Oh, hey, look at that. Two blue, blue, legendary enchantment artifact. Whatever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, you may draw a card. And for one and a blue and tap, creatures your opponents control attack this turn if able. <laughs> the art on this card is pretty silly. <laughs> when you look back at it, it's just yeah. a big floating trident or bident. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, 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 I think it's because a bident is just by its nature less cool. It's less cool and it's also a, just a trident. Why isn't Thassa holding it? Like, Cuz all the all the art was just the thing floating in the air. Yeah. I mean like this one's just I, I guess silly. the art direction for this it's was so just like just yeah. Just it's it's a twin twin uh, 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 toothed fork. Just don't make it look like the thing from Evangelion. Okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No like that's that's the art direction. All right. right? Uh, I apologize for that pack. <laughs> that was my fault. It's okay. Next. Seven. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, God. No. no. <laughs> How did we do this? Okay. Uh, this is... Um, like tenth edition? Tenth, I think. This is from... Oh. Oh, are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> Should we re-roll? <laughs> Kathleen and I brought this back from Japan. <laughs> So, so far in today's Crack Pack Fest, we hand-selected the first pack, the second pack was brought, bought by me, and the third pack was bought by Graham and Kathleen. I would say you're doing it to yourselves, but I'm yeah. here. Yeah. Uh, this is when Kathleen and I went to Japan most recently for the vlogs. This, that, that's how long this has been in this box, by, yeah. the, by the way. Um, this is a pack of 10th edition, uh, but not in Japanese. Yeah, it's not even in Japanese. No, it's in Russian. What? So, okay. Not 2010, 10th edition. 10th edition, I think. I believe so. We're going to find the, out what the set's about. It's the one, it's 2005. It's got, um, Mahamoti Jin. It wouldn't be 10, 2010, yeah. <laughs> it's definitely 10th. It's the X edition. I, yeah, we, uh, that's, that's easy to figure out. That yeah, the 2010 was, was, it it in, was it printed in 2009? No, then it's not 2010, is it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. No, it's ninth edition. Ninth? Okay. Ninth edition. Ninth edition. Okay. Sorry. I have no idea. Okay, hang on. Where does the they do the on what order is this? Oh, three uncommons, the a rare. land, and then the rare. Okay. okay. Here we go. Giant spider. Hey! Good old giant spider. Two, yeah. four, three in a green, reach. Great. I like it. First pick. Slam it. Love it. Uh, angelic blessing. Two and a white. Target creature gets plus three, plus three, and gains flying until end of turn. It's a sorcery. Yeah. Ooh, get out. Mm -hmm. It's not great. It's not good. Lola Lanamore Elves. Hey! hey. Ooh, Russian. Yeah. yeah. Somebody might like want that, actually. Actually, that's a good point. Yeah. And I might like that, yeah. One and a, oops, sorry. Uh, yeah, one, one for one green tap to add green to your mana pool. That's sweet. Yep. New uh, first pack. What is this? <laughs> it's... it's its rules text is all centered and cool. Uh, uh, that's Demystify. Yeah. Ooh, Demystify. That was, that was uh, yeah, reprinted in Ixalan, and also one of the cards that is available in Old Border with this art from S Stronghold, Onslaught, something oh, like right. that. Oh, right, yeah. We were talking before the podcast about um, uh, Cam wants to build... Uh, I want to build Standard using only cards that were printed with the Old Border. I just want to see... Using the Old Border cards. Yeah, there's yeah using the Old reprints. Border cards. Yeah. I just want to see your opponent's face when you sit down at F and M and like yeah and like Start yeah playing like, out cards from opt, fifteen years yeah, ago but like turn one opt and they're like oh nice you got the old border ops and I'm like yeah 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 and then like turn two I like duress them using the yeah. old border duress and they're like oh oh okay That's you're doing cute. yeah yeah you've got all the old border duress turn like five Sarah Angel and they're like. <laughs> I just want to see why you have to do me like this. I just want to see how many people, how many times they ask, "Is that in standard?" Yeah, I, I think everybody would ask, "Is that in standard?" Yeah. Uh, Enfeeble, I think this is called enfeeblement. Black, black creature enchantment, uh, enchanted creature gets minus two, minus two. I like this card. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, removal basically. Yeah. Also, the uh, John Bolton. 
creepy. Ooh, with an art. Um, what is this? Boomerang. Oh, oh boomerang. hey. I like, I like Boomerang. Blue, blue, instant return target permanent to its owner's hand. I'd rather the black, black card than the blue, blue card. Yeah. Uh, oh, the dogs. What are they? Mortis to Hollow oh, dogs. dogs. Hmm. What a cool name. Um, also, an album cover? Mm. I mean, all this dogs are the... hollow if you just don't feed them for a little while. <laughs> this is the cover of the Hollow Dog's first album. A hollow dog is never empty. It is filled with thirst for the hunt. <laughs> Sorry. There you go. Four and a black, three, three. Uh, whenever it attacks, it gets plus two, plus O oh, until end of turn. Uh, functionally reprinted as Mortis Dogs? No, Mortis Dogs did the same thing, but also when it died, it, it dealt damage equal to its power when it died. Yeah. Yeah. So if it died in combat, it was going to deal five. Yeah. Or maybe it was a two, two. It doesn't matter. Well, that's one angry looking monkey. Zodiac Monkey is a two one for one and a green with Forest Walk. Hey, buddy. He's so mad. Yeah. He's, he's fine. I mean, but why are you mad? He's, coming, he's <laughs> yeah. coming right at you. I mean, he's mad because you stole something from him, I'm sure. Monkeys these, don't like it when you steal These guys them. are running away. They're yeah. running away from the monkey. Yeah. yeah. Panic attack. Uh, two and a red sorcery. Up to three target creatures can't block this turn. Wow, triple falter. Mm. Yeah, that, seems, that, that seems like... I, I never played around ninth edition, but this seems like the sort of card you would be very mad at losing to, but would yeah. happen like it's or yeah, like yeah. A, a bad card that you would lose to, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. um, not quite sure what's happening with this card, but uh, oh, it's giant growth. I've Ew. never seen this art Neither for giant growth. I. Yeah, it it okay. So it's the smaller figure growing into the larger figure, and yeah. not the smaller figure appearing out of the larger figure's groin. No. Mm. Oh. Could be, though. You never know. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. I've never mm -hmm. seen that art either. Yeah. yeah. Um, Soul Feast. Three black, black for a sorcery. Target player loses four life, and you gain four life. Mm -hmm. nah. Missing two words. Yeah. Um, Ogre Taskmaster hmm. is a four, three, four, three, and a red, and it can't block. This card's legit. Yeah. Is that? Okay. So there's there's a big, there's like a a covered mound of freight mm. on his cart. Mm -hmm. That's not a growth. like extra shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> he, had, he has a growth on his back. We don't like, like to talk. He doesn't like to talk how about how it. How many biceps does this guy have? <laughs> 14. Enough. Enough for all of us. He's this. a very lumpy man. He's yeah. a very lumpy man. Like... All right. Uh, ooh, Urza's mine. Ooh, neat. Is that is that Urza in the mine? Who's that? Who is that? Uh, Urza's mine is a land. It's a land. Urza's mine. Uh, tap to add one to your mana pool. If you control an Urza's power plant and an Urza's tower, then you add two instead. Mm. Uh, we got a swamp, which is nice. And our rare is fleeting image. Two and a blue for a two-one flying illusion and for one and a blue, return it to its owner's hand. This uh, was printed at common with a relevant subtype in Innistrad. Yep. This is Lantern Spirit. Yeah. Yep. Hmm. And you know what? This does not, like... It was deeply mediocre then. Yeah. It was deeply mediocre in a set that didn't have Giant Spider. <laughs> as literally yeah. the first card it's we encountered. It's cheaper to return. Yeah. Yep. Oh, wow. Oh, God. <laughs> Yeah, it's just fleeting spirit. What are you doing with your life? Yeah, I mean, going back to your hand, maybe. <laughs> yeah, 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 often. Well, that was that was definitely worth the sloper. <laughs> All right, glad so we did that. Yeah, he goes back to your hand and then just stays there in shame. I had mm -hmm. forgotten that was there. Here we go. All right, twelve. Okay, two, four. Cam, have you put a pack in here before? No, God no. Six, eight, ten. 11, 12. This is not from any of us. This was Ooh. from Ian. 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 Yep. In brackets. Oh, oh Foin. Ian. Well, no, e, that's Ian. with an E. E O I N. That's the, the Gaelic spelling. Of I, was, I was trying to figure out why, it was in, why, the, why Ian was in parentheses. This is from Ian. This was given to us at GP uh -huh. Vancouver 2012. 2012? Or is that a set? Did we. No, there was a GP Vancouver in 2017, wasn't yeah, there? Yeah, there was. Yeah, that's yeah. got to be 2017. There's, yeah. I don't think we went 
Well, we let, let's, we... what pack is it? Yeah, Th that'll that's answer. True. No, it won't. No. 20, yeah, 2013 corset, wait. That could be from 20, 2012 then. It can't be. No, it would have come out in the summer and GP Vancouver's are in January. Generally, yes. Yeah, yeah. so this must be from 2017. Yeah. That's just a... Was there even a GP in 2012? Would we have gone to a GP in Vancouver in 2012? I don't know if we went to... The first GP that we ever went to was GP SeaTac. You and myself and Jer, and yeah. I don't remember what year that was. Well, I mean, we went to GP Calgary in 2013 to film. Was that 2013? Yeah. Jesus. There's no way this has been in here for five years. No, there's no... I don't think we've... We haven't even been doing the show G for five years. Yeah. G GP Vancouver... Uh, Happened. It was Avison restored. Uh huh. In Vancouver in 2012. Yep. We were there. We were there. But God. It, and okay. Like okay. This, this no, 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 no. <laughs> GP Vancouver in 2012. When did it happen? Avison restored was in the spring, right? Like April, May. That was the spring set that year. Yes. But so, like this would have come out. The summer of, of that, 2012. Yeah, because June, that was the set yeah. after Avison Restored. So there's uh, no so way. Th this article about it the, the, is the came, out, came out June 23rd, so 2012. When was Magic 2013 released? To be clear, it's that we can't tell on the handwriting if this is a yeah. 7 yeah, or so a 2. The, there, it's a 7 or, or not a quite complete 2. Again, I, we haven't been doing this show since 2012, right? Like Yeah, we have. No, we have. We're not even at episode 200 yet. And 200 would be close to four years, assuming one a week, right? We're one, yeah. this, is, this is, right now we're recording Ma episode 191, I believe. M13, Magic mm -hmm. 2013, was released in July 13. Yeah, so no, no, this is from 2017 then. Okay. Unless Ian got us, <laughs> like, a pre-released pack of Magic 2013 that okay. we've been sitting on for five years. Thank you, Ian, from either several months ago or many years ago. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey mug, mug flunkies. <laughs> there are three three for one and a red that can't attack or block alone. I, I yeah. like the, I They're always like card. mug flunkies. Yeah. Yeah. Good card. yeah. Especially if you get a lot of them. Mm -hmm. And because they can attack if you get two of them, yeah. mm -hmm. they, 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 they help each other out. Yeah. Yeah. They get there together. Uh, Harbor Serpent. Five uh, five yeah. five for four blue blue. Island walk. And, and it can't attack unless there are five or more islands on the battlefield. Not as big a fan of no, this card. No, don't like that card. This card's kind of whatever. It's, you know. Dark Favor. Uh, one in a black enchantment, or creature enchantment. When it enters the battlefield, you lose one life. Eh, whatever. Uh, enchanted creature gets plus three, plus one. In this, certain formats, this being one of them, this was mm -hmm. okay. This is kind of like a better unholy strength, right? Or a worse unholy strength? Yeah, this is sort of like, yeah, this is like unholy strength. Yeah. yeah. Fire elemental, it's perfectly reasonable. Yeah. Three red red for a 5-4. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. If you don't pick up a bomb in your red deck, yeah. this is what you run. <laughs> by, by the way, uh, Colin Miller and Sean Peterson, from both from Victoria, BC, top eight in, the, in that GP. Oh. If, I don't know if you in know. In GP either. Vancouver 2012? <laughs> yeah. Oh. I don't know if you now. know any Good either of those people. I do not. <laughs> I, I don't. Searing Spear. Hey! One and a red, three damage to creature or player. I choose you. This was just re this is uh, lightning, strike. lightning strike. Yeah, lightning strike is better. Vile rebirth. Single black mana for an instant. Exile target creature from a graveyard, and you get a two-two zombie token. Oh. Tricks of the trade. Uh, three and a blue for an enchantment creature. Uh, the creature gets plus two plus zero and is unblockable, mm. or cannot be blocked, or whatever. However, they word that. Yeah. Ah, here it is. Your boy, your first pick, Avon Squire. Yep. One and a white for a one-one with flying and exalted. This set was so much fun to draft. This, this is, is the exalted set. set. Yeah. Yep. Uh, the reason I say first pick, although it's on a uh, searing it, spirit. It's searing spirit. Yeah. Um, but Avon Squire was frequently a. A first pick is because Exalted was really, really good, and having Flying and Exalted was uh, was was good stuff. Yep. Uh, Vastwood Gorger is a five-six worm for six mana. Five, no, nope. five and a green. Yeah, no. Trades yeah. with Crawworm. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Uh, Arbor Elf. Not one as one good as for a single green. Line of War Elves. Tap to untap target for it. I remember when these guys were spoiled, and people were like, "We know Return to Ravnica is going to be the fall set." 
right, or Return to Ravna, oh. and they were like, the shocks are coming back. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Back. Because this would untap the shocks, yeah. the, the green shocks. Oh, yeah, this guy. Roaring Primadox. Yeah, this was, oh, yeah, this this was good. good. Real good. Three and a green. 4-4 four, four beast. At the beginning of your upkeep, return a creature you control to its owner's hand. Now that sounds like a downside. Mm-hmm. Especially since a 4-4 four, four for 4 in green is like... Could just be standard. Could, could be fine. Yeah. But you got to do some filthy stuff with this yeah. in this set. You were bouncing things and getting like ETB triggers every turn. It was gross. Well, but wasn't 5-3 uh, beast... Gains your life, makes a baby when it dies. Thrag Tusk. Thrag, Thrag Tusk was in this set. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, Flames of the Firebrand, another very good card. Two and a red for a sorcery, deals three damage, divided as you choose, amongst one, two, or three target creatures and or players. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this card's really good. Yeah. Do you take this card over uh, Searing Spear? Uh, I th- I, that was a pretty common debate, I think. I feel like it was. Um, I mean, this one gives you a little bit more flexibility. Flexibility. This this allowed for it's some not pretty as cheap, pretty sorcery. Yeah, it's sorcery, not as cheap, but it allowed you to get some pretty solid two for ones a lot of the time. Yeah. Um, like X ones and X twos were pretty abundant, so yeah. mm-hmm. being able to like, especially like kill your like the arbor elf and like an X two of some sort, that feels good. So. Sleep. Yep. Yep. Two blue blue sorcery. Tap all creatures target player controls. They don't untap next turn. I remember this card. I, 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 I remember, remember this card as well. I, I especially remember, remember well. losing to this card frequently and mm-hmm. my opponent like slamming in yelling, go the fuck to sleep. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, did you honestly need to like <laughs> yell that at me? Wow. Yes. Yes, they did. <laughs> and a rare. <laughs> okay. Spell twine. Oh. Uh, five and a blue for a sorcery. Six mana blue sorcery. Exile target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard and target instant or sorcery card from an opponent's graveyard. Copy those cards. Cast the copies without paying their mana costs. And then exile spell twine. Uh, yeah, I'll take... I'll take one of the red burn spells. I mean, sleep was backbreaking, yeah. right? But you had to actually, like... Get there. Yeah. Yeah, I take one of the red burn spells, hope to wheel, like, I don't know, Mog Flunkies, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> I'm okay with that. All right, All let's right. do one I more. Think, I think we've got time for one more. Yeah, let's yeah. do one more. Here we go. Rolling the dice. It's an eight. All right. Get out of here, dice. Two, four, six, seven, eight. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Urza's Legacy. Ooh. Nice. Ooh. This was given to us by Metalupus at PAX South 2017. Thank you very much, Metalupus. Nice. Versus like Versus. So now, what was in this set that we should be on the lookout for? Uh, show and tell? Was show and tell in Legacy? I don't know. It's the one with the hammer. No, uh, then it would be one of the other ones. Yeah. <laughs> Tree Folk Mystic is our first card from Urza's Legacy. Three and a green. It's a 2 4 Tree Folk, and whenever a creature blocks or is blocked by Tree Folk Mystic, Destroy all enchantments on that creature. This one is not in my commander deck. Is it because it's bad? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Slow motion is two and a blue enchantment creature. During the upkeep of enchanted creatures, controller that creature, that player pays two or sacrifices that creature. And when slow motion is put in a graveyard from play, return it to its owner's hand. Hey, did you oh. know that Rancor was a, was a part of a cycle? I absolutely did not. You know why you didn't know that? Because the other four are bad? Yes. This is Blue Ranker. Holy crap. This is not good, James. No, it's quite bad. I got I got our list, by the way, okay. of cards to look out for. Is one of them Gitu Stinger? No. Okay. It's, it's a good card, though. Gitu so, Stinger is a great red card. Uh, Tinker, by the way. Oh. Tinker. Tinker, Grim Monolith, Palancron, Memory Jar, Palancron. <laughs> No Mercy, Deranged Hermit, Defense Grid, Defense of the Heart, Second Chance, and Quick Silver Amulet are all the cards that are worth more than $10. Der- Deranged Hermit for, uh, for yeah. that... Uh, for the rock. For, for the, the, the upcoming... Uh, synergy with uh, the new onset. Mm. Yeah, squirrels. Yeah. Uh, Gitu Slinger, by the way, is... Um, it's... Two and a red, 
a 2-2 Nomad with Echo, which means you have to uh, pay its mana cost again. Uh, it's, I'll just read the reminder text. During your next upkeep after this permanent comes under your control, pay its casting cost or sacrifice it. So yeah. you cast it, and you get it, and it sits there and doesn't have haste. And then on your next turn, you pay the two and a red again, or you sacrifice it. Yeah. Uh, Gitu's Slinger also, when it comes to play, it deals two damage to target creature or player. So, so if you just want to pay three mana to shock. shock something and then have a blocker, and That's... then just not pay it again next turn? Mm -hmm. eh. Yeah, so it, it six mana for a 2 2 with shock. Yeah, it does stuff. Is like kind of pricey. Now, um, what's important is that uh, it is when it comes into play, not when you cast it. Yes. So if you like flicker a creature with echo, you still have to pay echo cost. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh -huh. Expendable troops. That's this creature <laughs> with echo. What you call it? <laughs> uh, 2 1 for one and a white uh, tap to. Tap and sacrifice expendable troops, and they deal two damage to target attacking or blocking creature. Yeah, I like that they're they're basically self flinging troops. <laughs> yeah. yeah, basically, yeah. Wow. Whee! Phyrexia debaser. Ooh. Uh, it's a two two for three and a black with flying, and tap and sacrifice Phyrexian debaser. Target creature gets minus two minus two until end of turn. Wow, it's everyone's just throwing themselves at one another. Yeah, in this set. that's. Yeah, I like that, I think. Yavimaya, sorry, what was that? Granger, not Ranger, yeah. which, Granger. I, which is a card. Yavimaya Granger with a Herm G. Hermione's cousin. Yeah. <laughs> uh, two and a green for a 2-2 two -two elf with Echo. Uh, when Yavimaya Granger comes into play, you may search your library for a basic land, put it, onto the, put it into play, tap, and shuffle your library afterwards. So again, it's like pay three mana to have a chump blocker for a turn and rampant growth. Unless you want to pay Echo. Mm -hmm. Weird. Is there any combo with Echo cards and the, like, Aristocrats type stuff? Yeah. Like, yeah, as, like, is. I use them in the sack of... Well, yeah, like, the, the, the best card in my Aristocrats uh, Highlander deck is Mog War Marshal. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right? Like, secretly, the best card in that deck is Mog War Marshal, which is a 1-1 one, one for one in a red goblin warrior with Echo. Um... And when it enters the battlefield, it makes a goblin token, and when it dies, it makes a goblin token. Uh, yeah. So you play it, and then you sacrifice it, and you get... you. you it's three bodies for yeah. one card. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. Cool. Ostracize. Uh. Single black mana sorcery, look at target opponent's hand, and choose a creature card there. <laughs> Interesting <laughs> wording. Uh, that player discards that card. Chippy's art has come a long way. Oh, Wow. This is chippy. Yeah, yeah. It's it's not it's not the same. That's impressive. Silk net. Uh huh. We're not doing great so far, James. No. Uh, single green mana, instant target creature gets plus one plus one and reach. I think most of these are rares and uncommons, though. All right. Well, we're, I assume we're coming up on it. Intervene. Single blue mana. So it doesn't like the art on that one. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Single blue mana, instant counter target spell that targets a creature. Wow, there were still interrupts at this time? Yeah. Huh. I, for some reason, I thought this was after that. Anyway. I think this was, like, right at the tail end of it, might, would be my guess. Yeah. Sluggishness is uh, one in a red in, uh, enchant creature. It can't block, and when it's put into battlefield from play, return to its owner's hand. Wow, it's part of that, part of that yeah. ranker cycle. Part, part of the ranker cycle. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. This, uh... That's so bad. Yeah. yeah. Comparatively. Yeah. I feel like sluggishness should be can't attack. To yeah. block, you just yeah. have to stand there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, the creature can still attack. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a terrible arrest. All right. Weird. Ooh, Ooh. Jesus. A foil. A foil. <laughs> what is this card? Is that a badger? It's ferrets. Repopulate. Oh, look at these little guys. Uh, one and a green for an instant. Shuffle all creature cards from target player's graveyard into that player's library. Also, it has cycling for two. No. And the, this is back when the foil was just the border and not the art. Yeah. So Which I, I kind of like. Yeah. It's kind of cool. I, Although some, some art looks really cool on foil. Yes, mm -hmm. I agree. Uh, all right. Uncommons. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Chunk. Forbidding Watchtower. Uh, it's a land. Comes into play tapped. Tap to add one white mana to your mana pool. 
And for one and a white, Forbidding Watchtower becomes a 1-5 creature until end of turn. That's still a land. Treetop Village was also part of a cycle, I think. <laughs> I've never seen this before. It's kind of amazing. Mm -hmm. It's a little forbidding. Oh, wait, Tinker isn't actually worth anything. Because oh. it's banned in everything. It's, I'm looking at TCG right now. The high is 175 the medium is $2.70, and the low is $0.94. Cents. So clearly there's just an aberration there. What about Ticking Gnomes? No, not, right. not on the list. Three mana, 3-3 three, three artifact creature with Echo. Uh, sacrifice Ticking Gnomes. Ticking Gnomes deals one damage to target creature or player. Ticking Gnomes is worth $0.98. Cents. Yeah, probably more like 20 cents. All right, here we go. Here we go. Well, bam! Big money, nope. big money. Martyr's Curse. Two and a white for an enchantment. Sacrifice a creature. Prevent all damage to a creature or player from one source. 29 cents. Wow. All right. This is a rare? This is a rare. Uh, defense grid. Hey, no, this is modern play. Yeah, this is actually one. Yeah, oh. this is uh, worth like 10 bucks. All right. Yep. Neat. Uh, uh, Maybe two? like six. no, no, no. Maybe like no, five bucks. No, no. There's the invention version. Oh. It came out as, as a Kaladesh invention. Right, I knew. I, really? Yes, yeah. it's worth is no, worth yeah. like uh, twenty five bucks. Huh. But this, the, the uh, regular version is like four. As far as I know, this sees five. sees sideboard control uh, sideboard play in modern, hmm. uh, especially against like control decks. It's a two mana artifact that uh, each spell costs each spell costs three generic mana more to cast. Except, whoops. Sorry. <laughs> Except, no wait, bring back the invention. <laughs> Except during its controller's turn. Is the, uh, the I, new wording. I like the, the art on the, I like the, the idea of the art on the old card. Um, like it's it, like defending the whole town. It's defending an entire city. This is just like a doorway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, Strands of fate. I, I love though that in the art, in this defense, be because of how the invention art looks, um, there, there's the like reflection of the door on the ground, mm. mm -hmm. which actually, because the text box is semi-transparent, extends below. Yeah. And so it looks like the three mana uh, casting, the, yeah. the three mana cost like more glowing. is like glowing blue. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. All right, we did it. We opened four packs. Five. Five, five packs, one had eight cards. Four two, packs two, and two, one bag. Four packs, four five eight. packs, one, one eight pack, two from us and three from you. That's not bad. What a yeah. weird episode. That's, uh, that, that was weird. Um, and look at, we put such a dent in our collection of cards. Yeah, well, I can yeah. actually like. Gotta send us more packs you now. You can actually though. get your finger in there now. Finger well, there, now yeah. we can add those ones. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of really good stuff in here, though. We will yeah. be doing, at some point, uh, on the uh, new Friday evening uh, Magic streams, we'll be doing a Chaos Draft with some of these packs. So We also have a pre-made Chaos, right? So Yeah, someone bought us a... Yeah. Like, uh, like a year ago. They gave us like a curated Chaos Draft. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we'll do that as well. We have we a got, lot of magic cards. We have lots to. It's okay. We got to stream every week. Yeah, it's true. Yep. We'll, we'll, we'll use them. Yeah. Um, and we, we appreciate them. Always. Uh, so thank you for that. Uh, so that's going to do it, yeah, for this week. Um, thanks for joining us. Uh, thank you for checking out our Patreon. Reminder to check out Card Kingdom as well. Strictly Medium is the current button. And um, yeah, that's it. We'll be uh, talking to you next time, uh, ideally, with some nicknames. Mm -hmm. so, see you next time, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.